Deliverance is the epitome of the American dream. It is not some sin city of libations and fornication. It is the heart of all future prosperity. When that railroad comes through, we are not simply building a train station. We are building a whole railroad service yard. We are going to mine coal in those hills. We have found a Mr. seam Mayor, of coal I'm, that I'm, is so Mr. wide Mayor, you could drive a, a team of yes. What or you go please, Mr. Potts. I, I am questions. happy to answer any questions that you have. I came go right here. Ahead. I came looking for a, the wild stories of well. the Wild West, <laughs> things yes, like that. Certainly. Well, Mr. Piles, I'm afraid you'll find Deliverance a lot less wild than you've been led to believe. <laughs> That'll be an five minutes. That snow's gonna turn to mud. Just like it got down the city. <laughs> Might be June before we can start planning. We'll make do. We always find a way. Goddamn bear's back! figure this out. You two stay put.
Are you sad, children? Do you miss your mother and father already? Don't worry. You'll join them soon enough. So the railway's coming to deliverance. The man said it, and it's true. Sheriff, if you and uh, Sadie want to spend the night, I got a free bed for you. Well, I appreciate the offer. But my lady Sadie here prefers her own bed at night. All right. Bid you good night. Easy. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you go on and check on the little ones? I'll, I'll finish up down here. Okay? All right. Good night. Good night, folks. Lock up tech to here. With all that's been going on, best be careful. All right, Sheriff. in your chips a little early? Even tomorrow? Look, Mayor, if I don't find the wild in the West soon, the paper's gonna cut me loose. Yeah. Deliverance is about the quietest town on the frontier. That's an understatement. When that rail service comes in next week, there'll be a whole lot more going on. Well, I can't wait that long. Hmm.
That's far enough! This here is a good town. And I'm the law here, young fella. Get your hands now you let those children go this damned instant! You let the children go! Now, you drop those guns. I said drop them! Franklin Holden, mayor of... My house is at your disposal. Excuse me, sir. Uh, my name is Newton Miles. I'm with the, the Chicago Chronicle. I'm writing stories about the West. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Files, is telling stories your reason to live? Ah, uh, yes. Then bear witness to the greatest story ever told. Bernadette? Bernadette! Vince!
Inquisitor have something interesting to say, mister? Easy now. The youngins ain't here. I can see that. Where are they? My guess is they're with Billy the Kid and his gang. Never seen them take prisoners before, though. That ain't the work of no bandits. Billy the Kid ain't. He ain't no bandit. He ain't even human. He's some sort of... some sort of creature. A creature of the night. Well, you mind putting that pig sicker away now? Please. Look. Hey. Easy. He's been real busy. Are these folk, they kin to you? As close as it gets for me. Where did you bring those children? If they're alive. I'm betting they're in deliverance. See? Seeing how you and I have a similar interest here. <laughs> Maybe you and I should think about teaming up. I ride alone. Hey, there can be an awful lot of those bloodsuckers. A woman alone won't be able to handle it by herself. Your fly's open. a single round from your weapons in my town. You, me, and Sadie here will be having ourselves a conversation. Now, if you're a pretty lady looking for some work, we got ourselves some nice business folk who pass through here. And the railroad line's coming soon. I want to get a pretty dress. Have yourself a bath. And do your hair up real nice like. You talk to Martha over at the pig. She'll point you in the right direction. And I might even drop in and pay you a visit myself. Keep an eye on her. <laughs> With pleasure. I think I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> I've been chasing that son of a bitch for six months. And there he was. I see him clear as day. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Go on, sweet thing. Go on. <laughs> anyway, I see him clear as day. And I said, I don't care who thinks this cocksucker's as dangerous as folks say he is. I don't care none about how many men they say he shot. The only thing I plumb care about is where I got my gun aimed. Both barrels aimed right out of my head. And then I tells him, when you see the devil, you tell him Flintlock Hogan sent you. Closer to the devil himself. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! Oh, wait. Ah. Only 
two things a woman is good for. Making my grub and keeping my dick warm. <laughs> <laughs> Say the sweetest things. Oh, there's plenty of sweet stuff where that came from, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fort Lock Hogan. Can't crush him little impact. You reckon I give up looking for you? <laughs> Last time I saw you, you interrupted a good game. How about you let me finish this time? <laughs> we, we can even deal you in. Hmm? We don't mind taking your money. Oh, oh come on, baby. What'd you say, huh? Uh, come on. I must have a four-leaf clover shoved right up my arse. You all may as well fold now and uh, count your losses, otherwise Irish Mick is gonna send you all home crying to your mamas. <laughs> Sound funny. I'm an Irishman, darling. Don't you know what an Irishman sounds like? Cross between an asshole and a dead man. Come on, Mick, just play your fucking cards. Patience is a virtue, Mr. Hogan. Full feckin' house. <laughs> what do you got? I got that bait. Four aces. Great Jesus, when you look at that. You can add that to a list of what a woman's good for. You cocksucking cheeky bitch! Come on! You know, like an Irishman to bring a bottle to a gunfight. I just didn't know this shit! Now back down, Kentucky. This between me and the little cunt. Let's go, Ray. Let's settle this outside. Go, Rain! I'm done messing around with you! Come on! Go get the sheriff pronto. <laughs> That's more like it. You don't know what you're dealing with. And that's fair. Because neither do they. Oh, Rain, you know I'm the best cocksucking shooter God's America ever spat into existence. Shit, I done killed 17 men since last I saw you. And I ain't counting Chinamen and engines. What are you looking for? Some sort of prize? Prepare to meet your maker, bitch.
Uh -uh. Your safety, Mr. Piles. Oh, finally, the Wild West. Bad reaction to some bullets and some holy water and some garlic. God bless his soul. If bullshit were music, you'd be a bleeding frost band. Those pistols, gentlemen. I've got this. See this here scatter gun? I've done killed over 30 men with this little lady. Now, we've got some rules in this town. And if there is one thing that Sadie don't like, is people breaking them. The boss don't like him much, neither. Prepare the gallows! We're having ourselves a hanging. Now, you've got till the high midnight to make your peace and think about what you've done here. <laughs> you not to piss Sadie off. Perhaps you could put in a good word for her. Most impressive for the fair sex. Bravo, bravo. I'm uh, Newton Piles. I'm with the Chicago Chronicle. Yeah, I I'm here writing stories for the East Coast. You know, true tales of the new frontier, straight from the line. Uh, tales of uh, blood and... I was just wondering if I could interview you, you know, for the, for the folks back at home. Who's a boss holed up at the end of the street? The fellow who sent me to find out who you are. The, I had no choice. Billy the Kid? You got any kids with him? What's he up to? Oh, ma'am, I, I really couldn't tell you. Can't or won't? <laughs> 
uh, he doesn't share his plans with me. I write what he wants me to write, and I, I do what he wants me to do. He's grown an army. Why are you so interested in him anyway, lady? Seems to me you got your own problems right now. Got my reasons. Such as? My reasons on my own. Oh, God. Don't worry about this little snitch. He won't be taking any of this back. Yeah, yes, that's, yeah. that's, that's right. Oh. You're a brimstone. That means something to you. Around the neck. Cute. Name's Rain. I'll shake your hand, but... I understand. I'm Muller. I take it you're not here by accident. Oh, I've been tracking Billy clear from Cheyenne. Something worked quite right about him. How's he like as a gunfighter? Well, truth be told, he's not much of a hand with a gun. He don't need to be. He can take bullets like a boxer takes punches. Are you saying he heals himself? It's the damnedest thing. He don't even need to feed on blood to heal himself. He must be one old vampire. It's the strongest I've ever seen. He's smart, too. He's got leadership abilities. Hell, I admire the son of a bitch. Let's see if we can get you more comfortable here. Let me I'll get these. Let me see your glasses. Ah, be careful. I just bought those. What's this about building up an army? Well, we saw that he was coming in and attacking the homesteads, collecting new recruits out of men unless they put up too much of a fight, left the women and kids dead. How many men he turn? I figure he's got 30 vampire cowboys, I reckon. Uh, excuse me, uh, turn them? Vampire bites a man, he'll turn into a vampire himself. Unless they rip his throat out in the process. It wasn't until they took over this town that we saw what he was doing. Do you mind hearing my light? Who's we? Me and my partner. He was a brimstone. He rode off to get some others. His head come back in a mailbag. I don't know how they knew. They got me on account of being his partner. You ever figure out what they were up to? Well, the railroad's coming to town next week, right? Give me some space! I'm sorry, I'm just not very good at this. Of course. As soon as the rail service comes to this outpost, hundreds of people will be coming in. And going out vampires. I figure he'll start here, he'll build his army, and then he'll go out west, growing stronger as he goes. But until the rail service begins, he needs to keep things looking normal. So that's why he took all those kids hostage. That's so they have something to feed on while they wait. Hey. They're uh, <clears throat> almost finished setting up the gallows. Well, it looks like it's the end of the line for us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aren't you going to put up a fight? And what do you propose we do, newspaper man? You gonna help us? Well, I'm flat. I'm flattered, but I I'm more of an observer. A man who hangs in the shadows and does nothing is the worst kind of man. Isn't that right, Rain? Enough, both of you. If we're gonna do something, we gotta do it now. What do you want me to do? You got any weapons? 
I got your swords. These drunk cowboys traded them to me for a bottle of whiskey. I'm an objective party. You're Billy's lap dog. Folks out there are scared to do anything. Now, from what I can see, you're our last hope. It's showtime. <laughs> oh, shit. Unlock him. What are you doing here, Bob? I came to see if they uh, wanted anything special before their burial. We're going to be dumping them in the marsh. That addresses any of your concerns. Open it. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. We are going to test the gallows with you, my friend. You can be an example of the townsfolk, sweet cheeks. words y'all better pray we never meet again not much chance of that hang on you need me here for? Cuz, Mr. Mayor, you are the face of this town. And as the face of this town, 
It's only proper that you be involved in the handing out of justice. Because it gives me a hard on to see you shit in your pants. <laughs> should do the honors. Me? Read. <clears throat> For the crime of... Uh, Speak the... up, goddammit! <clears throat> Don't be shy! For the crime of causing a ruckus, assaulting officers of the law, and murder most foul on three counts. Get on with it! Let's hang the bitch! Yeah. I declare you should be hung by the neck until dead. 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 Ha <laughs> ha! Well said! Get on with it! Fuck yeah! <laughs> right! Is this a friend of yours? Looks like you could use a friend. There'll be no goddamn railroad and deliveries. Got this burnt down a railroad station.
Come on now. Just take a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. There you go. <laughs> you sure don't make friends easy, do you? I saw you killed three of those suckers last night. Not bad for a night's work. Still a ways to go. Yeah. Well, you're not going anywhere today. Or tonight. Or next week, for that matter. It's too long. Woman, you're lucky to be breathing. You got hit a couple times when you are in the water. He's up in deliverance. Thanks. Try to hang on to him next time. <sighs> well, that looks a lot better. You know, I think we're gonna need some help. A couple of extra guns would be pretty handy, you know. Yeah. You got any in mind? Yep, I do. Yeah. Come on, Joe. This way. Back it up. Not a boy. Yes. God? Not exactly. Friend of yours? Not yet. Your goal is to be shaped by his goodness, or you will end up in the burning fires of hell! those voices. Your sickly, perverted voices that whisper and mock 
But those are the flapping, wagon, cursed tongues of sunrise! Yes! Let fear grip you, let it grip you by your intestines and pull you, kicking and screaming to the light. For fear is the way of the Lord, our Savior. Fear is what will keep the darkness from your door. The darkness attempts and seeks to lure the righteous from the pathway to paradise. Paradise, I tell thee. Paradise be not the sweet nectar found in the bottom of a bottle. Paradise be not the moist, swollen lips between a virgin's thighs. No! Paradise be the opening of your filthy hearts and your sinful minds to the glory of our Lord and Savior. Repent, I tell thee. Repent your filthy and heathen ways or condemn yourself to damnation and sodomy in the cruel fires of hell. Now I bring you salvation right there. And I bring you forgiveness right there. Yes, together, there is still time for that. Well, you should know that forgiveness Forgiveness does not come cheap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Donate all that you have to God and his glorious heavenly kingdom. see you got three options. One, we put them wanted posters up and let the townsfolk fit you with the rope. Or two, we spare them the trouble and hang you ourselves. Or three, you join us in our good works and redeem your soul. What would be? Well, what kind of good work are we talking about? Thank you, Jesus. Now, howdy. Oh, wow. You want a Hannah's girl? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, look at you. <laughs> Start at the top or the bottom. <laughs> Lord! Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna give you the ride of your life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're one of those, are you? Well, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm one of those, too. I bet you are. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> now, I have a proposition for you. I want your undivided attention. Listen close. You don't want to blow. Did I kill one of your friends or your king? Neither. We want you to kill for us. Who? More like what? What? Vampires. You with us? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> do, uh, do, are you still gonna fuck me? Here, I'm gonna be real helpful. <laughs> An offering. No. No, silver bullets rub the garlic. Tools of our trade. Nice. Man after my own heart. Preacher, we need a blessing. Well, shit, yeah, I'd be honored. Um, <sighs> Dear Lord in heaven, we are gathered here on this eve with our souls laid bare. We ask you, God, to give us mercy when the time for sacrifice falls upon us. They roamed the earth for thousands of years, feeding on the meek, the impoverished. They've forsaken God, and God has forsaken their victims. For the people of deliverance, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, it is for them that we do this. In dark, bonded, as brothers are we. By this we solemnly swear. For there are none but us who care. As when we stand together, we fight together, and we die together. Thanks. Franklin, please. There must be something we can do. My children are out there. Or the devil makes haste. It was my belief that Billy is simply using our children in order to control us. For any harm to befall them, he would not have the same leverage over our decisions. He's gonna wait until the railroad comes through and take as many lives as he can to feed his bloodlust. However, if someone were to tell him that the railroad is no longer traveling through our fair village, he would leave. Well, the God save my soul, I would tell him that lie. I will parley with him. I am confident. We will prevail. We just sit here? Until the time is right. Mr. Mayor. I mean, I know it's not my place. I'm, I'm just a bystander, but he's going to see right through that. Mr. Piles, though I be only a mayor of a small town in the West, 
I do believe I know something of the nature of people and those that are not, but take their appearance. He is filled with the lust for blood. It is all he cares about. He will hear what he wants to hear, and he will move toward his objectives and his aims. It's my responsibility. It's a bad idea. And she's brought help. Kid! The brimstone is calling you out! You hear that? What? Exactly. And the burning fires of hell rain down upon them. <laughs> <laughs> You coward!
I'm gonna call you Slime Bag. They call me Slime Bag? Yeah. Let's go. What, you couldn't go under? I'm going out there. No, no, no. Martha. I do believe Mary and Sal would be better off with a mother who's alive, not six feet under. seem to have your hands full. I think we should go out there. Yeah, we should go out. What's the matter with you people? You're a bunch of cowards. Those men are out there, they're, they're putting their lives on the line for you people, for you and your children, and all you can do is just stand here? That's why Billy has control of deliverance. Because this town is filled with a bunch of... Mr. Pipes, you know how to use that? Well, what are you waiting for? Waiting to be slaughtered like cattle in an abattoir so his demon spawn can drain you? Mm. Ripened on the vine and ready to pluck. You don't want them, Billy. You want me. Pick on somebody your own size. much future for this town, but there's no future at all without children. Aaron, two boys, Piercy, got a little girl, don't you? Well then, you with me?
go. Jesus, titty fuck Christ. Drop those gun belts. Real slow, like. You shouldn't smoke. Shouldn't cuss. You were out, man. And out, gun, you dirty dog bastards. Yeah, well, let's even up those odds then. Your men are dead. This town, my pantry, is almost dry. But in a few days, the railroad will come, opening the rest of the country to my grasp. I shall beget an army. And it shall spread along these train tracks like the blood in the iron veins of this land till nothing stands before my will. Embrace what you are. Join me. Roll at my side. Off for me. <laughs> Turn around, you yellow dog bastard!
like to show you the main street of deliverance. to feel skin. Oh, now, we play. enjoy a little sport before a meal. It wets the appetite. It gets the juices flowing. <laughs> I must confess to being a little giddy at my first taste of damn fear. Not as sweet as I look. Well, then we should make the meat more tender. <laughs> Shepherd, ah, my little flock, is this the one who has made your puny heart fall with hope? Good. The taste of despair is so much sweeter when it's torn from the cradle of faith. And now, now the slaughter! 
returns! You whined when I took your children. <laughs> now you will watch as I train them. Weep as they die. And curse your god as they <laughs> rise from the dead to rip open your throats and my command! Now does the slaughter begin. Billy! Let's do something about that nasty laugh of yours. <laughs> Big speech, small guns. You're recompensating for something. I'm sick of your half breed mouth. Goodbye. I know, sweetheart. I know. <laughs>